the progressive rock band Coheed and Cambria were on tour with Soundgarden in 2011. It was hours before a scheduled show in Mansfield, Massachusetts, that the group's bassist Michael Todd would rob a local Walgreens pharmacy. This is a story that's been requested by several people, so let's discuss what happened. And as always, if you guys have requests, use the link in the description box below or leave them in the comment section. According to local police, Todd would enter the Walgreens around 1 p.m. and showed a pharmacist behind the counter a note on his cell phone that said he would detonate a bomb unless he was given bottles of the prescription painkiller OxyContin. Rolling Stone would report that the pharmacist told the bass player he didn't have the medication on site, but he did have oxycodone, which he gave the bassist several bottles. Oxycodone is the main ingredient in OxyContin and several other pain medications. The bassist took the bottles and headed back to the venue in a cab. Soon afterwards, four police officers would show up to the site of the crime, with one of the officers noticing footprints in the grass behind the store. There was also a witness who told the cops they saw a man running towards a cab. The police were able to track down the cab company, which transported the individual. The cab was also outfitted with a GPS tracking device, which led them to Coheed and Cambria's tour bus. Todd was later arrested without incident for unlawful possession of prescription narcotics and armed robbery. The arrest didn't seem to really interrupt the group's tour, as friend of the group Wes Stiles would fill in. The band would also issue a statement on their Tumblr page that read, We are surprised to say the least and will address the situation with Michael after the tour. Todd would admit on the Dopey podcast that during the early years of the band, when he was in his 20s, he dealt with knee problems and back pain from lugging equipment during their early gigs and tours, and doctors soon prescribed him pain medication. Todd would admit that by the age of 26, he wasn't aware that he was a full-blown addict. He would reveal he wouldn't realize his problem until he took a trip to Florida where he got violently ill and realized that he was going through withdrawals. Todd would admit in the same podcast that he was involved in the class action lawsuit against the Sackler family who owned Purdue Pharma which created OxyContin claiming that he might be able to win 50 to 60 grand from the settlement. The type of crime that Todd was charged with wasn't really that uncommon. From 2009 to 2011, 1,800 pharmacies were robbed in the US. The perpetrators behind these crimes were under the same circumstances as Todd, young adults needing pain medication to avoid withdrawals. In response, pharmacies soon beefed up security. This episode wasn't the first time Coheed and Cambria had issues with Todd as he'd previously entered rehab in 2006. It was a few months later in August of 2011 that the band parted ways with him. Todd would end up pleading guilty and end up being sentenced to a year of house arrest and several years of probation. It was during the time he was waiting for his sentencing that he would be diagnosed with testicular cancer, but lucky for him, he would survive and the cancer would go into remission. Todd would reveal on the Dopey podcast that during the time of the robbery, he was dealing with terrible pain in his nerve and his elbow as a result of a calcium deposit and claimed he could generally go to any emergency room in America and get a prescription for pain medication. But Massachusetts was different. It was ground zero for the opiate crisis in 2011. He would claim that hospital staff wouldn't give him any medication, so he was feeling scared, unwell, and owing money to some shady characters. He'd also gotten involved in dealing and trafficking, and Todd would admit on the same podcast hearing that people had previously robbed pharmacies with ease, so he would try his hand at it. He would add he never took any of the pills the pharmacist gave him, and due to his arrest, he had to stay in Massachusetts for a year, and he never saw his bandmates for quite some time, and they made no effort to get him back from the cops, something that even surprised the police. Coheed and Cambria guitarist and frontman Claudio Sanchez would talk to Artisan News about the arrest, as he stated here. It's really unfortunate, but, you know, uh, chemical dependency has been something that has, like, kind of been in my life since I was a kid. You know, it's just kind of part of my growth, so... Right now, I mean, I, I wish the best for, for Mike, but unfortunately, I mean, I think as, as adults and, and just the, the human beings that we are now, we, we kind of need to move forward, you know. Um, so I just, I wish him the best. I mean, I love him. He's, he's my brother, you know, so, but, uh, but at some point, you know, you got you to gotta kind of let go. You can't, you can't keep, we just can't keep going down the path that we were going. It was following one of his cancer surgeries Todd admitted to falling off the wagon once again, 
and it was over the next several years he was arrested in New York on small possession charges. In 2013, he admitted to scamming fans by taking money in exchange for selling Coheed and Cambria memorabilia he didn't have. He would admit this in an online post after several fans complained about not receiving their products. In more recent years, he's left the music business and now works in the restaurant industry. That concludes today's video, guys. As always, if you have suggestions for topics you'd like to see us cover, use the link in the description box below, and we'll see you again in Rock and Roll True Stories.